effects, I should say. And it's a crucial time physically because it's when you really need to start doing the extra stuff um, to maintain uh, your youth and athleticism. And I've seen it with a lot of guys. So, um, it, it's, it's, if you start doing the extra stuff, really taking care of your body, and, getting the conditioning and the collective stuff in before practice and the maintenance after practice. And you get uh, you know, regular treatment and massage. You look at Steve Nash, you look at what the bonds doing now. Um, that, to me, that's the challenge now. For Steph, for Draymond, for KD, all those guys, they're entering that phase given their age and, and uh, but the, the mind should be in the best place it's ever been. Are you already seeing, you know, like the preventive approach? I mean, Draymond and Clay aren't even at that age. But do you see that going all to them? Yeah, I do. And, and one reason I'm excited over at Celebrini here, uh, who we hired this year, is that uh, he, he and Nash were kind of partners in crime um, in helping Nash through his 30s. And Steve played till he was... I think he played at a really high level, all-star level to about 37, 38. Um, and Rick is really uh, knowledgeable in terms of you know, keeping guys moving and without pounding and grinding. Uh, I think he'll be a great asset for our guys as they, as they get older. These first few days of camp, has David West's absence been noticeable? And how do you guys make up for his better leadership? I think what's um, what's apparent is you know that position is filled with youth, and um, so we're going to miss uh, David. We're going to miss Azza, uh, you know, Javale. We have with multiple veterans at that spot, all of whom really contributed and did good things, did, did different things. Um, but it's a new era. Uh, it's a great opportunity for these young guys. And, um, I've been really impressed. You know, Looney always comes back in great shape. Jordan Bell has been um, really focused in his second year. And I'm happy for Damien. You know, it's the first time he's really getting a look uh, from us in terms of possible playing time. He worked hard in Santa Cruz all last year. He's earned it. It is uh, an emotional night, and, it, and it's not the, uh, the ideal way to prepare for a game mentally, but um, it sure is fun. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, hopefully we have to do it again next year. We'll be all right. You talked about the center position. Are you saying we might be able to want to start on Saturday? Are you looking towards that? What will we go into your decision to do that? Uh, I'll probably start DJ. You know, I haven't made up my mind, but I'll probably start Damien because I know what Jordan and Lynn can do. Um, you know, they, they played huge roles for us deep into the playoffs last year. Jordan played big minutes in the finals. Uh, so we know what they can do, but we want to see Damien uh, with our starters. We also have to um, make a decision on this contract extension by the end of the month. I'd like to give him a chance with our starters. So. Chances are he'll be he'll be out there on the, on, uh, on the first night. Is that something? You, are you going to do something with the rotation, or do you have you figured that out? I haven't gotten that before. Okay. Yeah, you're lucky. I, I even gave you that piece of information. And, you know, now you're really pressing. It's just disrespectful. Can we expect that all year? Just line up. Uh, just tell us depends how you line up to depends on my mood. Today's my birthday. I'm in a good mood. I had a really good gluten-free waffle in there for breakfast. I didn't think that was going to be very good. It doesn't sound good. No. It was, it was, it was tasty. So, I'm in a good mood. So. Hey, speak, speaking of the age thing, um, when you look at most teams that have won, as many championships that you guys have won, by the time they that third one, most of the pieces are sort of banned. But you guys were poor and still in their prime. How special is that? And how does that go for the future? 
Yeah, I mean, it, it's um, it's rare, and um, it's uh, we know we have you know, a, a bigger window than most teams do in this position. That's the uh, the benefit of winning in 2015 with a very young team and gaining that experience and, uh, and obviously adding Kevin and, and uh, you know this has been a, an incredible run uh, that it's going to be very difficult to, to match but uh, we want to just keep it going for as long as we can and we don't spend a lot of time thinking about where we stand historically we're just just enjoying the process. How were you talking about that? Kind of getting maintenance to your guy like Sean Livingston and Andre. How's Andre doing? And, and did anybody? How's it? How's everyone doing? Uh, Andre scrimmage today looked great. Uh, we we blew it out today. We didn't uh, scrimmage at all the first two games. The first two days we played kind of controlled offensive stuff. Today we let loose and, and Andre was great. Uh, and uh, everybody everybody played. We didn't have. Uh, Marcus obviously didn't play, but uh, took part in the first half hour of practice, a lot of skill work and footwork stuff. But uh, once we started the scrimmage, uh, everybody was ready to go. A lot of talk about Kevin on defense last year, first half of the last season, kind of tailed off in the second half there. Um, what are you looking for in terms of him being more consistent there? I mean, is that something that you guys talk about, or is that just something that you know he wants to do? We haven't talked about it yet. You know, it's day three, training camp, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get to that. You know, I think it's it's not just Kevin; it's our whole team. You know, we slipped from I think we were second or third in defensive Top efficiency three, yeah. two seasons ago. We we finished ninth or tenth last year, I think. Uh, eighth, I think. Eighth, but we dropped in that last month, and we really dropped considerably. And we'd like to maintain our consistency. And uh, that's everybody. That's that's on the whole team, the coaching staff. So that'll uh, that'll come up. Um, but long year. Is it given what he gives you on the other end? Is it? I don't want to say asking too much, but if it, is it a huge ask that he be a major, a massive defensive factor consistently? No. Okay. No. Because of his physical gifts, uh, he's capable of it. You know, it's just. Uh, with Kevin, I think the biggest thing is his just activity, weak side. When he's alert and active on the weak side, he's he's a monster, and uh, he usually is. He usually is uh, you know, thinking as a shot blocker, as a steals guy. Uh, when he's not, when he when he gets a little stagnant on the weak side, that's when he that's when he uh, struggles a little bit. But. I could say that about a lot of guys, but he's the one who has the ability with his length and athleticism to really make a, a difference. In your mind, was Evan shooting stuff in the summer league just a shooting stuff, or was there anything mechanically that you think he needs to work on? He's working on his art this uh, training camp. Uh, actually, he did so the rest of the summer after summer league. So. He's such a uh, young player. I mean, he's had three NBA practices, so he'll continue to work. Most guys get much better with their shooting as they go because that's uh, what we do every day. So uh, I think his form is fine, and uh, I think as he continues to get more comfortable with the arc, he'll continue to speed out. By the way, when did you start feeling your age? Probably uh, about 35. But I only played like 10 minutes a game, so I, I didn't play enough to really get hurt. <laughs> play is that guy that you typically just throw him out there and let him, let him go. Yeah. Like, um, is that something, is that sustainable? I mean, is that just who he is? I mean, Quinn? The play. Oh, play. Play. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, is that something you can see lasting? I mean, is that 75 to 80, 82 games a year, every year, year after year after year, playing both ends? The activity level is that well it's absolutely sustainable right now yeah. uh he's what 29 28 28 29 for the season yeah, so I mean, the question with a guy like clay is uh, at what age does it not become sustainable uh, he's right in his prime right now so 
I don't see anything different coming from Clay this year in terms of his uh, dependability night in, night out. All right, thanks a lot. Sure.